Hi folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. Mom and baby at 30 weeks pregnant. Baby's development can you believe how fast time flies? That pregnancy week 30, your baby weighs almost 3 pounds on average, 2.9 pounds this week and he slash she may be about 15.7 inches long from head to heel. This week, your little Einstein's brain begins to wrinkle and fold like a typical adult brain, and the neurons in the brain's cortex the area that controls memory, thought processes, coordinated movement, vision, and emotion start to develop into six different layers, each with their own individual function. Your baby's eyesight continues to develop, though it's not that sharp. Even after your baby is born, he slash she will only have 20 over 400 vision, so he slash she will only be able to see objects a few inches away from his slash her eyes. Since your baby is packing on the weight at week 30 of pregnancy, the volume of amniotic fluid in your womb will slowly start to decrease as your little one starts to take up more and more space. Right now, there's about a pint and a half or three cups of amniotic fluid surrounding your baby. The bridge of your baby's nose is more apparent this week than in previous weeks. But the tip of your baby's nose is still upturned. In the next few weeks, as your baby's face grows longer, the tip of his slash her nose will make a downward tilt. Fun fact, according to the March of Dimes, if your baby was born premature this week, he slash she has a 96% chance of survival. While this sounds promising, it's best for your baby to stay inside your womb until he slash she is full term. Mom's changes hang in there, you have less than 10 weeks to go. Now that you're 30 weeks pregnant, your uterus is about 4 inches above your belly button. You have probably gained over 20 pounds by now. It's hard to imagine that 7 and a half months ago, your tummy was relatively flat. As your baby continues to grow and develop inside you, you may notice that he slash she pokes you with an arm or a leg sometimes. To pass the time, you may want to spend some time with your partner and play the guess the body part game. If you feel a hard round lump, this is most likely your baby's head or his bottom. A longer flat surface might be your baby's back. If you really want to identify your baby's bumps and lumps, ask your healthcare provider at your next prenatal visit. Since you're pretty huge now, you may be feeling rather exhausted these days, especially if you're having trouble sleeping that night. Insomnia during pregnancy is very common, and it affects 80% of all pregnant women. You may find it hard to sleep because of leg cramps, frequent need to urinate, and the fact that your bulging belly makes it difficult to get in a comfortable position. While there is not much you can do for your leg cramps other than massaging your calf muscles or your frequent need to urinate, you can purchase a pregnancy pillow to help you sleep at night. These are designed to conform to the unique shape of your pregnant body, and they may offer you a comfortable sleeping position. That pregnancy week 30, your growing belly, in conjunction with uncomfortable pregnancy symptoms and hormonal changes, can make you cranky. The mood swings that you had earlier in pregnancy may come back in full force this week. Remember to keep the lines of communication open between you and your partner, and this may help make his life easier during these emotional changes. A helpful tip, if you haven't already, this is a wonderful week to finish decorating your baby's nursery. This will help pass the time, and it will get you excited about your little one's arrival. Pregnancy 411 Heartburn During pregnancy in the third trimester, you may start to experience a painful, burning sensation in your throat or chest. This is called heartburn and it's common during the second half of your pregnancy. Heartburn in the third trimester is often caused by your growing uterus and baby pushing against your stomach and intestines, which in turn pushes the stomach acid back up into your esophagus. While it is uncomfortable, Heartburn is generally harmless and it's not something to worry about. If you find your heartburn is unbearable and you want relief, talk to your healthcare provider before taking any medications. He slash she may be able to give you suggestions on safe heartburn relievers to take.
That Pregnancy Week 30, the best thing you can do is to try to prevent heartburn and minimize your discomfort. You can do this by eating smaller meals throughout the day. Take your time eating and chew slowly. This will help your body better digest the food that you eat. Avoid foods or drinks that might trigger heartburn. Usual triggers include spicy foods, carbonated drinks, caffeine, acidic foods, processed meats, and fatty foods. Don't drink too much during your meals. It's better to wait to drink after you eat. Resist the urge to lie down immediately after your meals. You may want to sit up or walk around the house. This will give your body a chance to digest the food that you just ate. Chew gum after you eat. This helps stimulate your salivary glands, and saliva can actually help neutralize acid. Aim for gaining the recommended pregnancy weight for your size. Extra pounds add pressure on your belly and increase your risk of getting heartburn. Don't wear tight clothes, especially around your... Hi folks, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. Mom and baby at 30 weeks pregnant. Baby's development can you believe how fast time flies? That pregnancy week 30, your baby weighs almost 3 pounds on average.